Okay, maybe just the one. And we'll demolish, destroy this one, I guess. Then we'll send you from here to here. We should be good to go. Yeah, we should be good to go there. This player with 40 artisans in range. Ooh, okay, okay, so that makes sense. So I'd like to actually destroy that again. And we'll move it over here to where it'll actually cover all the artisans. And then we'll send you... For Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It is Lodius here, back with a new episode of another game on the channel that we covered way back during Steam Next Fest. Lysara Summit Kingdom. If it, you guys can't tell by the screen, this game is out now. Um, I'm not sure if it is early access or not, because it's been a minute since I've bought this game. But, <clears throat> it is out. You can pick it up. Um, if you guys don't know what this is about, if you guys can't tell by the screen, it's basically a city builder on the side of a mountain. And you got to deal with uh, basically landslides and stuff like that. And you basically want to work your way to the top of the mountain and basically blow a horn um, is my understanding. So let's jump right on into this. We got a campaign, so it is early um, access because it will be available after full release, the campaign. <clears throat> you got standard challenge and free build. Just from various mountains, different in shape and conditions, and play a standalone adventure, each with different sets of objectives. Short and difficult scenarios, testing your optimization and management skills, as well as your knowledge of the game systems, and no money balance to look out for, no need to fulfill, no objectives to complete, just build the most beautiful towns you can imagine. Nice. We'll jump in and uh, we'll just stand, why not? Yeah, looks like a bunch of different mountains, but you need to finish the, uh, the mission here to unlock other mountains. Okay, cool. So, very first outpost in the Highland Mountains, balance, resource deposits is copper, salt dye, perfumes, and gold. Um, can do butter lamps, um, rivers no, are not present, and avalanches are standard. <clears throat> if you guys do end up enjoying this at any point in time, make sure you guys tap the subscribe button, and if you guys are new, um, also, don't forget to tap the like button. started to fail disoriented animals barely produced any milk people started to get sick and you can't see anything the fog in this valley is even worse than the city for all we know we could be lost already faith my friend have faith we're following the path that's been chosen for us path I don't see any path. Just the same damn forest going on for days. It's not entirely the same. Look, there are more and more pines, and the thickets are thinning out. We are getting higher. We'll get to the uplands shortly. Even if that's true, what will we find there? Mark my words, mountains are no place for humans. Yes, but they are a place of the spirits. We will settle at the foot of the mountain and make our way up to build a grand altar at the very summit. The spirits surely will recognize our efforts and help us to drive the mist away. And Lysara will be saved. Yeah, that's great and all, but did you see how low on supplies we are? Never mind building a temple, we'll die of hunger before even reaching the top. Come on, it won't be that bad. Look on the bright side. Mountains are above the mist, so we'll be able to cultivate crops and pasture our yaks again. Mm, maybe. Until the first avalanche sweeps us all away. Stop worrying about minor details. We're on the most sacred quest, and nothing will stop us. Onwards! Nice little cutscene there. Uh, like I was saying, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys do end up enjoying this, make sure you guys tap that like button. And if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right on into this. All right. <clears throat> so here's our mountain. It looks very similar to the um, mountain um, 
in the demo. Serves as an outpost, move bigger mountains, makes sense. We need to maintain contact with the capital in case they come to save us. Nonsense. We'll achieve great things in these mountains, and the small settlement will be our first step. Let's start by building a district for our workers. All right. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, WASD, right mouse button for camera movement, okay, nice, scroll in and out, hold to change view of camera, oh, okay, interesting, try overview, okay, interesting, cool. So, yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of snow there. That's where the avalanche will fall, it looks like. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Pause and unpause the game. Space, cool. Game speed, one, two, and three. Build a food market. All right. Build a food market. And we'll build it, like, say, like, uh, right here. Cool. Easy peasy, build a road between the food market and the mountain. You can remove any building, including roads, using a demolish tool. So we'll get some roads going. Um, dirt road. Paved road. Upkeep. Construction cost. All right. So we'll just do um, something like this for now. Just around the whole building. Something like that. Oh, and the mountain entry point. Oh, so we'll come up. Do something like uh, like this, I guess. <clears throat> it's a little annoying. I should have brought it down a little bit, but that's okay. We have 32 lowlands living within range of the food market. Okay. 32 lowlands, so we'll do something like this. Two, three, four. Um, one... Two, no. Three, four, something like that. Cool, mountains, great, Just take care of their basic needs. Okay, shrines, spots where they can pray and for success for our mission and providing them with food. <clears throat> can do that too, I guess, but spiritual cheat comes first. All right. So we'll get a praying place. Um, I was thinking of doing something like this. Um, hmm. Actually, we'll place it here since we can't build anything really over here. I was thinking of maybe building a, a road up there, but that's okay. Uh, click on a lowlands hut. Okay. So it looks like they basically are going to need these. Sampa. Or Sampa and eggs. Okay, so we'll need to build a chicken farm. Food market, chicken farm, boom. Something like this, maybe. Click on the chicken farm and we'll send this to the food market. Provide with eggs, we did. <clears throat> Start sending Sampa as well. All right, should be easy enough. Sample production. So, structure allows the optimal angle of ear growth observation. Three low land. Okay, so we'll grab you. Um, do something like, hmm. Maybe we'll do something like this. We'll grab this guy. Place you here. Send you here to here and then we'll send you from here to here and boom we can upgrade the houses level two okay section satisfaction level drop below current upgrade requirements receiving monetary relief okay Sample supply not meeting. Okay, so that means we're going to need to get... So let's build just another... Can we build, like, another field then? 
And I, that might uh, supply the rest. Um, we'll get a road going. Something like that for now. We'll send you from here to here. And we should be able to upgrade that. Sweet. Easy peasy. Splendid! Looks like the Lowlands are happy here. They'll have be the backbone of our settlement econ settlement's economy. Yeah, the artisans won't be satisfied so easily. They'll be a certain standard, you know. But if you want the progress, we'll need some for the manufacturing skills. Somehow make them more comfortable, too. Okay, sweet. So it looks like we're going to have to build over here. Seem perfect place for artisans' district, if you ask me. Alright. We can try, I guess. Okay, so I guess we'll... Build the bridge from here to here. <clears throat> Get the road going from here to here to cross. Then we'll need to build another food district, I believe, here for the artisans. So I'll build you like right here. <clears throat> Actually. The 40 artisans living within range of a food market. So yeah, we'll need to build a food market. Build you like right here. We'll take roads. Again, go all the way around. Here. <clears throat> okay. Then we'll have this road going from here to here. We'll build... Artisan houses... Three, four, five, something like that. All right, easy peasy. Fill the upgrade progress bar halfway in the artisan houses. All right, well, what do we need? Looks like more Sampa and eggs and a praying place. So let's get this going. Grab the praying place. Looks like we're going to need two at least. So I'll place... One here and one here. Um, and then we will get some eggs going. Place the eggs like right here. We'll move you here. You here. Get some Sampa going as well. Um, I'll place you down. I guess, let's see, probably right here. And here with a road. Going from here to here. And we'll grab this guy. Place you down, uh, I guess, right here. Then we'll send our wheat from here to the mill. And then from the mill to here. We should be good there. Okay, build the copper mine and connect it to the road systems. Okay. Should be able to do that. Not going to be there. Is it in here? No. Bridge, shaft, duplicate, move. Alright. Oh, you just clicked and build mine. Alright. Um, we'll place the mine here. And we'll drag you down to here, I guess. Then we'll connect the road to it. Boom. Um, looks like we're going to need some yaks to start copper production. Alright. So we'll get some yaks going. Grab this guy. We'll probably place you down, like, hmm, probably right here. And right here. I guess we'll just grab this road and we'll just drag it down here. Okay, not too bad. Got some yaks going. Have commodity supplier with 40 artisans in range. Start distributing utensils. All right. Let's see. So we'll grab this guy. Place you, say, right here. All right, not receiving any goods. Send resources here and distribute in the range of houses. I guess copper. Actually, you know what? Let's move this building over here. Can I not move it over here? And then I'll just demolish you. And I'll move you this way. Okay, sweet. So we have this guy here. Um, send you to here. Can't 
distribute half finished products, process copper into another resource before distributing. Okay, so we will need to actually come here, or is it up here? Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, right there. Yeah, coppersmith. So we'll get a coppersmith. I guess uh, we'll get you right here and maybe another one right next to it. We'll have the road go up in between them like this. We'll send the copper from here and okay, maybe just the one and we'll demolish, destroy this one, I guess. Then we'll send you from here to here. We should be good to go. Yeah, we should be good to go there. Supplier with 40 artisans in range. Ooh, okay, okay, so that makes sense. So I'd like to actually destroy that again, and we'll move it over here to where it'll actually cover all the artisans, and then we'll send you from here to here. Target building has to be in range. Oh my god, dude, seriously? All right, can we... get off of that, I guess, and like we'll move... The chickens over here. All right, and then we'll move this guy again. I don't know why I don't have enough to do anything here. So let's try this one more time. Okay, now we'll send you from here to here. There we go. Then we'll send this um, five of six. So we're not getting enough. So then, is there another? Problem is, there's not another copper mine here that I can make use of. So I don't know exactly. Huh. Oh, there we go. Seems that there aren't enough utensils for everyone. You can use a carrier post to divide the resources flow to multiple buildings. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Carrier post. So I want you here. <clears throat> and then I'll get another um, coppersmith, like right here. And I'll send the resources from here to here. And then I'll send them from this building to here. And from this building to here. And we should be good to go now. And then we'll send this stuff down here. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright, well this is annoying. So let me move... This building up here. And we'll move this building down here see if this works there we go holy smokes man that was a little a uh, little stressful but we did it hey i've got an idea all right let's expand higher the climate in the middle uh zone of the mountains is just perfect for bees and producing honey all right so i guess we'll get a shaft going always love one of those um and we'll drag you right up here i guess all right get a road going directly to it not too shabby um have two operational beekeepers in the middle zone all right get the two operational beekeepers going up here um actually you know what let's move these down here boom okay i got two beekeepers let's get the road expanded <clears throat> Okay, sweet. Brilliant plans seem to have a flaw. A flaw? It's a perfect place for the bees. You act like um, you got stung by one. Oh, open your eyes. How are we going to transport all this honey down? Relax. With the right attitude and an open mind, we can overcome any obstacle. How exactly will an open mind, mind help us transport anything? Oh, just you wait. Let's see my fellow monks here. They'll come up with a solution. You mean me. Have an operational academy. All right. <clears throat> we'll grab... Um, Oh, well, let's see here. How many monks are needed to figure out how to use a cart? Well, apparently a lot. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so we'll place you down like right here, I guess. Missing workers. Monks. 
than by building a scholar's facility such as the academy. However, it will be it will grant research only when staffed. So we'll need monk dormitories. So we'll grab some monk dormitories. And I guess we'll place some of them down like I guess right behind here. And I'll grab a road and I'll span the road up and over here for now. <clears throat> Not sure how many monks we need. We'll need... Looks like food. I'm not sure how... Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see here first. Okay, so it looks like we will have to build another food distribution center here. So we'll build you. And we're out of lowlanders, so we'll need to come back down here and build some more lowlanders. So what do we need to level you up? Honey and utensils. Okay, well, let's just start off with building more houses, I guess. So we'll build you, build you, build you. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do you. We'll move you here. We'll build another lowlander house here. And we'll have the road span the back here. Um, looks like we need more eggs. Shouldn't be a problem either. Send you down. We'll get more eggs going. Bam, bam. Then we'll send the eggs here to here. Boom, boom. We're going to probably need more Sampa as well. So it looks like we can build two more fields and they'll be able to host there. So we'll get um, food going, more Sampa fields here. Um, I could potentially do um, at least one there. Oh, maybe two. So let's do these two here. And then we can send these to here, and this will be a full full 12 going here. So now this one's full. Um, so we got that going. We could upgrade this one now, looks like. What are What's unsatisfactory for these level ones, huh? Oh, enlightenment. So that means we're going to need to get another praying area. Um, we could probably place down, like, right here, actually. Right across the street, and we can level all of them up. Not a problem there, baby. Not a problem. So we got a good chunk of lowlanders. 37 unemployed. Come over here. We got 20 unemployed here. Come up here. We have we need monks, which we got monks going here, but we will need to get... It looks like... Looks like we're going to need more stuff going here. So I'm, I'm curious on... If we're able to put these up here, or if we're going to run into issues. So I'll plant two an egg, uh, an egg one here, and just see if we can do this. Um, so I'll have that going there, and then I'll get, um, I guess, Sampa going as well. Which shouldn't be too bad because we can place the Sampa, like say, I guess, like up over here. So I'll place, so it's going to need four blocks. So let's actually place you like, hmm, here. Yeah. And I guess, hmm, we're going to lose out on that area. So let's see if we can actually move this building and put it like, maybe like down here. So we'll place it here and... We'll get another one going, because I know we're going to need it. Place you there. We'll get the road, and we'll have the road come this way. We can also, okay, having a road there is not going to matter. And then we'll also get the mill going. Um, and yeah, we'll just place the mill right here. We'll get the road going from here to here. We'll send this guy from here to here here to here <clears throat> send this from here to here and then we should have all that going 
Monks should be satisfied now. Um, not quite. Not quite. So I guess we could get this guy going. Um, hmm. This will get enough, just pop it down right there. Now these guys should be. Should be good to go, I would assume. So we have the academy. We have the praying place. They don't need utilities or anything. Which is super expensive. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So we don't have enough workers. That's that's an easy fix. No. That's an easy fix. We'll just do this. Okay, you going down here. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. Oh, they're talking about the monks. That's all hooked up there. So we got that going. Okay. Um, you can increase research level of your town to gain access to more advanced buildings. This is done by building a scholarship facilities such as an academy. However, it will grant research to staff, so we'll need monk dormitories, which are these. Oh, I guess it's they want honey here. Okay, now... Okay, they, they do want utensils. And they have the Scholar Academy here. It needs to be operational to allow... So why is it not operational then? Do I need to have way more monks then? <clears throat> That's what I'm assuming. We're going to need monks dormitory. So I guess I'll place you here and here. Um, and then I'll place you here and here. Get this road going. That's what I'm assuming. It wants more. Um, let's grab you. Place you down. You down. You down. <clears throat> okay, and we'll get this road spanning over here. <laughs> And then we'll place this guy right here. Yeah, see, now that I've finished that guy, so now we got enough going on here. Um, doesn't expand all the way over there, so we'll get another one of you probably plopped down, like, um, I don't know. Um, plop you down right there, I guess. Okay, cool. Um, we'll upgrade all these. Which means it should give us... Yeah. Ah, so let's actually move this guy. Like up here. And then we'll connect a road from here to here. Boom. Then, it, unfortunately, it doesn't affect these ones, so I'm actually just going to demolish these ones. Since it doesn't affect them. Right now. Um, but we do have that operational. We have 10 artisan houses at level 2. Alright, well what do we need to get them to level 2? Honey. Okay. Carrier post. Ah. I didn't leave room for the carrier post down here, unfortunately. So we'll just have to get the carrier post up here. Plop you down. Like that. And then we'll send... 
send this one from here to here. Still enough honey. Then we'll send honey from here to here. And then boom, we should be able to upgrade all of them. Boom, all 10 artisans. Let's go, easy peasy dude. Nicely done, we've done some decent groundwork here. Alrighty, continue with our quest and travel to the, the first real mountain. High enough for a summit temple. Not so fast, we still need the logistics point down here. And more importantly, a way to secure our financial situation. Oh, come on, do we really need to deal with the such trivial matters? We've got bigger things to pursue. Trivial? This is the whole endeavor is an insanely complex logistical operation, which could end in disaster in a blink of an eye. Okay, treasury checkouts at the end of us. All right, start getting donations from citizens. Zero of 360. On this research level, people require higher satisfactory. Okay. Um, treasury, 10 artisans, 40 upkeep, uh, construction costs. All right. So I guess I'll get you going here. And you going right here. Okay, continue. Easy peasy. Oh, we're over on another uh, part of the mountain. Be a good spot for a trading post. It'll be easy to send resources further from here. Huh? What's that noise? <clears throat> oh, crap. Avalanche! Alright, forget about it. <laughs> we're all going to die. Relax, no one got hurt. Actually, this avalanche wasn't even that huge. I bet we can still have a trading post in this region. You want to stop all the snow from the sheer power of your mind? Go ahead. I'll stay here and watch. Don't be stupid. We still need a few foresters to provide tree cover. That should do the trick. Okay. So have operational trading posts fully protected from the avalanche. Should be pretty easy. Um, I'll build a trading post down here. Um, then we'll get you. We'll do... Um, Rapid tree growth, just hugging them a lot. So we'll get this guy. Um, it looks like we place you, like... Uh, let's see. Something like that, I guess. We'll move uh, the trading post. Actually, that's perfect. Have that come up here. Place you there. I just want to move it. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Uh, we'll get the roads to come up through here. And then back through here. Cool. Forester will send the resources here. Okay, I guess we're not sending force. There. Um... Uh, let's see. Basic way of blocking avalanches. Put trees in the way. We can do that using foresters. Foresters don't require a road connection. To block more powerful avalanches later on, you'll need multiple rows of foresters and or special buildings. Interesting. Have operational trading posts fully protected from the avalanche. Missing yaks. Alright, so if we're missing yaks, we'll just get a yak pasture over here. And boom, easy. Boom! Too easy. Easy trading post. Here it comes! Another one so soon? Hooray! It worked! The trading post is safe. Told you from the very beginning there is nothing to worry about. Now we're finally ready to move on. Let's make our way to the first real mountain. Can't wait. Easy peasy, dude. Alright, if y'all uh, enjoyed that, uh, we'll end the episode off there. If y'all enjoyed that a little bit, um... Good start. We'll jump into Demon's Rest in the next episode. Try out this mountain. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys ended up also enjoying the video, make sure you guys tap that uh, subscribe button down below. Completely free and uh, helps us work our way up to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys all for watching. Again, this has been Lysara, um, Lysara's uh, Summit, which is like the... Uh, yeah, it's a town builder. So, once again... Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out!